Development is costing Minneapolis $1.5 million. It's city taxpayers who will foot the bill. A lawsuit claimed Minneapolis police officers used excessive force during the unrest after George Floyd's murder. Officers in an unmarked van fired less lethal rounds at Jaleel Stallings in May of 2020. Stallings fired back. A jury agreed it was in self-defense and acquitted him of any criminal charges. WCCO's Jennifer Merrily looks at the cost of police conduct payouts. The city of Minneapolis will pay Jaleel Stallings $1.5 million to settle his lawsuit over Minneapolis police conduct. The funds come from taxpayer dollars. Why does it have to come from the money that we work for? Some residents we spoke with didn't realize the city is self-insured and their tax dollars cover police conduct payouts. It's um, really disappointing to hear um, uh, for the taxpayers who's probably largely don't understand the way the monies are being paid out. It's a lot of money. Rachel Moran is an associate professor at the University of St. Thomas Law School. You have to think about if the money is going to one thing, it's not going to another instead of going to support our schools or our parks or something else. WCCO has tracked police payouts. They range from hundreds of dollars to millions, like the $27 million settlement with the family of George Floyd. In March, Minneapolis settled with Soren Stevenson for $2.4 million. He was left blind in one eye after being shot by a less lethal round during a protest. I just want them to act. I don't want this to happen again. I don't want city funds to be wasted on lawsuits. To me, $1.5 million says the city recognized that this was a significant, significant event. Stalling said he also was looking for more than a payout. I went into the civil case with not hopes for a check as much as I was hoping for justice and accountability. And compared to similar sized cities, Minneapolis on average pays more in officer conduct payouts. And there are several more pending lawsuits connected to police conduct during the protests and riots of 2020. Frank. S sounds like there could be more to come, Jen. All right. Thank you.